Welcome Extreme Home Arcade owners. This is a tutorial video on how to bring a backup for LaunchBox Big Box if you get a corrupted error message or have a black screen and don't have access to anything. So first thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up our taskbar. And to do that, you're gonna hold down your shift function and your player two joystick up. For those that don't have a shift function, it's gonna be your player one start and your player two joystick up. So let's bring up our taskbar, if we're able to, and we're gonna come down using your trackball and your mouse clicks. So you're gonna come down and you're gonna hover, hover over the big box emblem here, and we're gonna right click and we're gonna close all windows. And that should bring us back to our test desktop. Now for folks that aren't able to do that and they have a black screen, I know right away when you first fire up your machine, you'll get this desktop image. And what you wanna do is you wanna come down here right away and you wanna click on your task manager. And that'll pop up your task manager and then this should stay here even though you have a black screen. And what you wanna look for in here is big box. I'm just gonna say my task manager is big box because I already closed out a big box. So just say task, my task manager is big box for instance. I'm gonna click on that and I'm gonna hit end task. And then that'll close out a big box as well. Uh, if you have an error message still here, don't click on that at all because that'll possibly restart big box again and then you're gonna have to redo and come back um, the way we did to here. Um, so don't worry about that error message if, if one is sitting here. Um, so once we get everything closed out and you're able to have access to your desktop here, we're, we're gonna come down to File Explorer on the bottom here, the Manila folder. We're gonna click on that. And then on the left here, we're looking for LaunchBox. We're gonna click on that. We're looking for Backups. Double click on that. And then in here, um, you might see a couple backups. I know on our updated drives, David's only gonna have one backup in here. Um, but for folks that don't have the updated drives and you got a bunch of backups in here, um, you could grab the most recent one or maybe even maybe one from yesterday when it was working really good. Um, so I'm just gonna grab the most recent one and we're gonna double click on that. That's gonna bring up this image here and then what we're looking for here is we're gonna click on Extract. So we're gonna click on that, and then it should bring up this copy image. And then now we're looking for the three dots here. We're gonna click on that. Browse for folders. What we're looking for here is data. We're gonna do one click on that, and then we're gonna hit OK. Now it should say copy to, and it should say this. This is what you're looking for to say. It shouldn't say anything else. This is what it should say. So if it says all that, you should be good to go and you should be able to hit okay. And then this is just gonna bring in the backup. So would you like to replace all the existing files? Yes, we would. So we're just gonna say yes to all. So it copies all the files over. So we're gonna click that. And this will probably take about 10 seconds so you're just gonna let it do its thing, be patient. Uh, once it's done copying, this will close out automatically for you. So when it's done doing that, you'll just be able to close out of everything that you went into. And you're gonna come back to the desktop. And what I like to do is I just like to do a fresh restart from here. So bottom left, start, power, restart. And then you should restart and it should restart like normal. Everything should be there for you. And then you're ready to have fun.